beautiful people welcome back to another episode of the bloom podcast where we discuss everything self-development wellness and evolution i am your host delilah and in this first season we are highlighting some of houston's most impactful women who are out here killing it all while serving purpose today is the last episode and i'm super excited to introduce to you all an entrepreneur lash artist miss irma <laughs> I'm owner of Elisa Eyelashes Studio, located here in Houston, Texas. I'm a lash educator and a lash artist, um, and actually lash lifts too. I provide lash lifts as well. I'm 27 years old, and that's it. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so you're celebrating your four-year anniversary. Yes. Um, it's a big deal, I think. It's an amazing deal, because uh, I don't know what the time frame is of people that start off doing um lashes yes and how long it, it, it's supposed it, to last them on average yeah like, it's kind of different honestly i feel like the lash industry is still pretty new mm -hmm. so i've seen some lash artists that are like way up high and they only started two years ago so, it wow. just really depends like your um what would i say what your able to do i think money has to do a lot with it too you know yeah. um but usually for you to perfect your skills, usually takes up to a year to two years. Wow. So okay. it took me about, I want to say after two years of lashing, I felt like, okay, I'm a master at this. I know what's wrong. What's wrong. I don't have any retention issues or anything mm -hmm. like that. Duh. I love that. <laughs> well, you make it look really um, easy, I guess, on social yes. media. Now I would say it's easy for me. Like I can go to work and it doesn't even feel like work. I can get it done really quick. It's fun. Um, but it's not hard for me anymore. Awesome. Really. Yeah. That's so you're like passionate, love what you do. Yes. I sure. think that's like amazing to hear because me and just like my experience with it, I feel like that's the goal mm -hmm. is to be doing what you're passionate about and what you love to do so it doesn't have to feel like work so that makes me really happy for you I love that thank yes. you <laughs> yes um so your four-year anniversary you don't have to tell us in detail but what is what does that look like or like what are some of the things you can tell us about it because that's something definitely to look forward to yes I'm really excited actually I'm gonna do a lot of um specials I would say um I'm thinking about doing 20% off all services I'm thinking of also doing um a discount on my trainings mm -hmm. just for the month of November just because like I was telling you um it's a big thing for me four years is a lot um yeah. and I want to be able to share like all those four years of support for my clients and my friends and my family yeah. I want to give it back to them and that's why I'm doing like the most I can yes. I usually every year um at least the past few years I always given out free gifts to my clients yeah uh this year I might not do that but like I'm saying I'm gonna do 20% off almost all my services all my products my last trainings yeah um a little bit of that and um I actually have a photo shoot too Yay. to celebrate yeah. post about too so yeah. i'm pretty excited that's what four years is gonna be looking like next yes month. that's exciting that's exciting <laughs> Thank you. um i do want to say that you've always been really good at that like giving back um making sure that your customers experience is very like an experience it's not like you just come in to get your lashes on and you're leaving yes. mm -hmm. uh, i don't know if you remember this but when you first 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 started um you were looking for models and i was like okay like why not so i was i went and got like the whole experience it was cool um I, I think i even told you like i don't know because i don't really get my lashes done i've never really like done that and you're like no like you know be open to it let's do it and i remember going my mom ended up getting her lashes done by you before too and we got to like yeah like a basket you had like the warm blanket like it was a whole experience and yeah. i'm very big on experiences like i'm very big on like if you treat me well as your customer i'm gonna you know pay you well take care of you too be consistent with you um, but that's one thing that i did notice is that you do give back a lot so there was like a little basket where we can i don't know it was like socks of the theme of that month or like something like that it was yes. super cute like <laughs> yeah. i loved the whole experience so i can't even imagine what the experience is now that you know you've evolved so much so yeah thank you yeah i definitely feel like um you want to build relationships with my client with clients and just in general 
that's what I usually try to do with every client. Um, I don't ever want a client to leave out of my last studio, not happy, not satisfied. Mm -hmm. I make sure <laughs> to make sure I make sure that they're happy with the results and that I make them feel comfortable as well. Yes. Um, the few people that I know that I'm close to that have gotten the lashes done by you, they have nothing but amazing things to say about Aww, you. So. Thank you. Yeah, especially Sammy. She be <laughs> What's your main um, service that gets requested? Like what's what's like the one that's just like popping or it's like that? Right thing? now I feel like hybrid, which okay. is right in the middle. Okay. It's a mix of volume fans and classics. And people are liking wood speed too. But that's my most common one. I have only maybe a handful of people that like the mega volume ones. Mm -hmm. And then I do have my butterfly set, but it's only for those that are celebrating like their birthdays or something mm -hmm. big because they're super like extra okay. and they look like strip lash um strip lashes as well Ooh, okay and speaking of butterflies mm -hmm. um i know that's kind of like your theme is blue butterflies right mm -hmm. uh, was that picked like for a specific reason does it represent something or is it just like your favorite color your favorite animal Everything. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's my favorite animal. And um, I just love butterflies. They're just very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I just also like how they just transform. I transform to do, uh, like a butterfly from a caterpillar yeah. to a butterfly. So that trend, like change in which that's what it def defines change and yeah. i love that i love change that's and that's what beautiful. i always look into oh i love that that's beautiful okay <laughs> and speaking of evolution tell us a little bit about how you've evolved as a lash artist and at what moment did you feel like i'm that lash artist or like you knew like you measured your your accomplish of like okay i accomplished what i wanted uh, like mentioned to you, I I don't know why I keep saying like mentioned to you. It's okay. It's I'm okay. just so used to saying that. <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I feel like when I took when like in two years, that's when I felt honestly not even because I feel like the moment I started lashing, I was booked and busy. You like, were November. <laughs> I started November, December. I was taking like twenty clients a week, wow. and it just went very well for me from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing is that I I tried to. In the beginning, and I still continue to do it, but I feel like I did a lot in order to mm -hmm. get those clients. Like you're saying, like I was giving out free socks for Christmas, mm -hmm. chapsticks, candy, um, mimosas at one point. Yes, uh, you were. And then giveaways every month for a whole year. And I felt like that really helped me a lot. Um, I feel also um, that I felt like I made it once uh, this one company reached out to me and wanted me to work with them Beautiful. it made me feel like wow this my work is that good my, yeah. it, it made me feel good about my work and stuff like that and um after that I feel like I just grew um I was able to get my last studio in a bigger space Beautiful. about a year and a half in or two years I believe wow and um it's been growing since then and now yes I just feel like I, I mastered almost every type of service that I can provide. And I also take trainings in order for me to get better because I feel like there's always room for, room for improvement as well. Okay. <laughs> so take us through a day in the life. Like, um, you know, TikTok is like the big, like, get ready with me, yeah. day in the life blog. I, mean, I haven't seen you do like... I want I, to make okay, one, you should, but I'm you still should. camera shy. Okay. Like... Last week, I swore I was going to post this video that I re I recorded myself for a whole hour and I just kept saying the same thing over and over again. And mm -hmm. I, I, I just wasn't mean. I was uh -huh. like, okay, I can't post this. Yeah. So I'm going to redo it again. But I do want to do one of those for sure soon. Yeah. Um, so for right now, actually for the month of September, I changed my hours and I'm mm -hmm. only working four days a week instead of five. Okay. So I have three days off, <laughs> which nice. gives me a lot of time to do uh, my own stuff. So I usually go to the gym in the mornings. Yes, you've been uh, killing it. I've been yeah. watching. It. Yeah, <laughs> Thank yeah. Thank you. Um, cook breakfast. If I don't cook breakfast, my boyfriend cooks breakfast for me. Um, pretty much, I kind of separate my days. It just really depends. One day is for my boyfriend, and the other day is for my business, mm -hmm. and the other days to run errands. Nice. Um, but basically gym for sure and cooking is like the two things I <laughs> always do and of course if I have to work I do work but I do definitely work less hours now for sure nice that's yeah. you deserve that thank you, you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I seen your sister post mm -hmm. 
a day in the life as like in her studio and as a nail tech because yes. your sister's a nail tech uh, or nail artist sorry um <laughs> so what does a day in the life of a lash artist look like for you like when you get to this like to your studio oh like what i do at the studio yeah like what does a day in the life look like as you like prepping and then going oh, into okay, work okay, cool. and then um, closing Okay, so yeah, so going into work wise, so um, I gym like I mentioned to you before, mm -hmm. and then to get ready for work. Um, if I can, I would sneak in some um, pumpkin spice cold brew from Starbucks yes. if I have time. Uh -huh. Um, get to work. I try to get to work thirty to forty five minutes before my time, just so I can prep mm -hmm. and make sure everything's tidy for my client. Mm -hmm. Um. I usually have my tweezers ready, already disinfected and everything. Um, most of my clients are regular, so I kind of already know what kind of style they would want. So I just pull out all the lashes that I would need for that client. And then uh, pretty much uh, I usually work back to back. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I do have about 10 or 15 minute break. Um, but other than that, I would rather do it all at once mm -hmm. um, than have like long breaks in wow. between. Yeah. Okay. And what does a long break seem like to you? Like more than thirty minutes. Okay, more than thirty minutes. Yeah, Got I it. can do thirty minute lunch. I don't need. A, I I don't need more than that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, that's just like I really don't have anything to do, or I maybe have something to do at the studio. I don't mind, but recently I do just need thirty minutes for lunch. Nice. Um, I pretty much just stay at the studio the whole time until I'm off, mm -hmm. and then just go home. And nice. we should go to sleep early just because I have to go to the gym the next day. Ooh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't go to sleep early. I suck at falling asleep early. I'm like a night owl and yeah, I don't need to be sleeping in. Okay, so the I'm, gym. Let's talk about the gym. Mm -hmm. I know it's, it's not about lashes, but the gym. How many times a week do you work out? And like, what are you focusing on right now? Um, I'm working on about three to four times a week. Nice. I'm really just trying to focus on just a healthy lifestyle nice. overall, eating yeah. healthy. I'm working out and I just want to look lean yeah. and I just want a flat tummy, to be honest. Nice. That's like my goal. Okay. Yes. Those are good goals. <laughs> um, Sam and I were actually going really hard at the gym. Um, two months ago, we worked out six times a week for two months straight. Um, but I was, did see that. Yeah, because we were going to Puerto Rico. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we got back from Puerto Rico. We're like, Jim, what? No, but I, I love working out. Um, we do need to get back on it because we have been slacking. But I think it's because we went back to, like, normal life. Um, mm -hmm. And it's so, so good. Such a stress reliever. Like, something yeah. to look forward to every day. Me and Sam's bonding time. Like, it was it was awesome. I loved it. We, needed, we just need to get back on it. Honestly, but. it makes you feel better. Just like you're saying, overall. Yeah. I feel like... It starts my day great because I usually go in the morning. Mm -hmm. More time to do things for yourself. Like yeah. taking care of yourself as well. Self-love is really important, especially uh. like with anything with your job. As a business owner, I feel like putting time for yourself to do things you really need to do for yourself are yeah. very important. I don't know how you work out in the mornings because I'm like, uh, I, I just can't work out in the mornings. The one time I worked out in the morning, I almost threw up. So I was like, yeah, no, let me just stick to evenings. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, super therapeutic, something to look forward to. And just like that bonding time, I don't know. It was just like, all right, like, let's let's get in that mode. And like, I don't know, I, I learned to love it because I didn't, I did not like working out. So speaking of mental health, if we could do a mental health check from one to 10, um, right now in your current season that you are in life, what, what do you feel like you're at from a one to 10 and how do you maintain it at that number? Mental health. I would say like an eight cause there's still things that I need to work on that I know I need to work on mm -hmm. just overall. Um, but what helps me is going to the gym. Mm -hmm. Eating healthy helps a lot too. Yeah. I've been like, I'm telling you the last two weeks that I've been taking it a little bit further and, and like really being very strict with my diet. Yeah. And not only that, I take my greens and my reds, little supplements like that, that I would have never imagined. I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. Sleep. sleep. Yes. Is, I'm asleep. Like I sleep the whole time. I have to have eight to 10 hours of sleep every day. Nice. If not, I'm going to be in a bad mood or I'm not going to function. Correct. Okay. <laughs> I think that's one of the things, the components that a lot of people don't really take into consideration is sleep mm -hmm. like, oh, everybody sleeps but it's like no yes i always seriously. yes i always tell people you need to sleep you need to like rest if you don't rest you're not gonna feel great right um so sleep uh working out eating healthy um what else 
Honestly, that's pretty much yeah. what I do. Nice. Okay, yeah. so we're at an eight because there's always room for improvement. I okay, work life balance. I think you've probably already kind of talked about it a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. but I really feel like that's one of the things that's very important. Make sure I don't overwork myself either. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm really good at that. And one thing I also do uh, for work balance is travel. I nice. feel like traveling helps a lot with just like zoning out of my business and just doing me and then coming back and I feel very refreshed after that. Nice. I do see that you um, definitely do give yourself that privilege to travel, travel and, yes. you know, you let your clients know ahead of time. And that's, I love that. I love that. <laughs> I did see that. Did you hike the, the Grand Canyon? Uh, no. no. I went to Arizona recently though. Okay. But I hiked, I've been hiking a lot this summer. Though. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So hiking, uh, I love hiking. Yes. It's a lot of fun. Um, that is awesome. I, for some reason I thought you had to hike the Grand Canyon. But you I have like. before. Okay, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah I have it. before. Okay. But not um, this summer. Not this summer. But mm-hmm. you have before, right? Yes. That's like a a lot of people's like life bucket list goal. Like I know. That's awesome yeah, to be able right? to say that you did that. How, Thank what you. was that experience like and how long did that take? Um, so I actually hiked I didn't hike too long. Mm-hmm. I wanna say that's probably my shortest hike actually, like three hours, but just seeing it, it's very nice. Um, I was supposed to do it this summer in Arizona, but it was a little further out from where we were located. So I, I didn't I didn't have the whole experience, but I've had other sceneries in different states that are like really nice as well. Nice. Mm-hmm. So what's been like your favorite place that you've traveled to so far? For hiking or just in general. Oh. Mm. I wouldn't say Greece was my favorite trip. Ah, you did go to Greece. Yes. You did. <laughs> That's so awesome. Wow. I forgot that you went to Greece. Yeah. You know, I keep up. I, I, I keep up. Like, I, I, yeah, I try. You've been to Paris before too, right? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. You were super fashion out there. I remember seeing that. Yes. Part of the aesthetic. Awesome. And um, where do you plan on traveling? Like, what is one that you're on top? list of goals to travel to my top list right now will be italy nice. Mm-hmm. nice who have been some of your inspirations if you had any or because you're saying like lashing is so new it's like who can yes. I even, i'm asking because i've heard people say that they that you were one of their inspirations so oh <laughs> do you have any inspirations oh uh, that means a lot um as i started honestly Lashing was still kind of new, especially on social media. Yeah. So the first year or two years, like it wasn't very like a big thing on social media. At least for me, it wasn't. Um, I didn't start following like lash pages and lash stuff until my second year, going into my second year. Nice. Um, so it's would... just something that you wanted to, to try or that you wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Like who inspired me to do it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just wanted to try it. I actually was just trying it for fun. I was just like, I'm just going to do it for my friends and family and see where it takes me. Yeah. I actually um, was working at a job and I was going to college full time. So they had to let me go. Well, I got fired, basically. <laughs> oh, wow. But it was a blessing yeah. because it gave me the opportunity to actually take that last course and actually start my uh, business. Um, Beautiful. So that's how I started, to be honest. Okay. I would have never imagined me doing eyelashes. I've always been into the beauty stuff, though. I was getting my eyelashes done, Mm -hmm. and that's what triggered me to actually take a course. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense because I agree with everything that you said leading up to that, Um, it being new. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know lash artist was a thing (laughs) until you... I feel like... Okay, I can see for myself, but from my friends or a group of people mm-hmm. knowing and people I follow like you're the one that started all of that like, oh, of like you. the exposure of it you know you did not imagine yourself like where you're at now but prior to beginning lashing right correct so if um there, there's a scenario of I'll give you two scenarios of you well let's just do one scenario of you never taking that route or that path where would you have seen yourself now? I would probably be an accountant by now. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> That's what I was going to school for. Okay. So you're mm-hmm. still trying to accomplish that. Yes. Um, I'm kind of undecisive. Okay. I kind of want to go and finish. But at the same time, my business has grown so much. And I know that um, if I do school, it's kind of – it will – 
put a lot of my time into that. I would yeah. have to put a lot of time into that. So I'm just trying to see and balance and see when I can start. But I do want to start, uh, but maybe just taking one class a semester. So I have no idea when I will finish, but yeah. that is the goal. Okay. Okay. So if you were not a lash artist right now, you'd be an accountant. Yes. Okay. <laughs> is there anything else that you feel like is therapeutic to you or that – or are you in therapy? Um, I'm actually about to get into therapy. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like it's very important. So that's something that I do want to get into um, this month or the next. Awesome. Uh, yes. Okay. So one thing I can say, and I've said it on the show before, is finding a good therapist is like finding a good like lash artist or a good barber or a good nail tech. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, just know that if you, whenever you do start your therapy set, um, journey. Don't feel discouraged if like the first two therapists that you go to don't align well with you and don't feel obligated to have to like stick there because it's like finding what suits you better. I love that. Yeah, 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 for sure. I, yes. I've heard I've heard of that before. So yeah. I'm trying. I've been looking. I'm going to try one first and then see where I end up. Or yeah. if I like her, I'll stay yeah. with her. Correct. Yes, yes. And that's going to be you're going to love it. Um, I, I was in therapy for a while. I did it because I wanted to not because like I felt. Like I had to or anything. Um, and she was amazing. She is Latina. She only speaks Spanish, which I thought was a great thing because it pushed me to like um, practice my Spanish mm -hmm. and express my emotions and my feelings in Spanish. And she was awesome. She did a, a lot of everything. Um, and it was awesome. I loved it. I, I did take a little break, um, but I do encourage people to try therapy. It's, yes, I yeah. want to try it. Yeah. This is a, a little game question. What does a lash artist you <laughs> carry in her purse versus her work bag if you have a work bag or is it both one i have two different ones okay so what what what's in it i'm all nosy i want to my know. work bag <laughs> versus your personal bag so like, i have a big bag i have a tote bag i have my laptop my laptop charger my business phone mm -hmm. i have a notebook to journal with pens business cards <laughs> a throw up bag. <laughs> I don't know why. <gasps> a throw up bag. Just in That's case, exactly. yeah. <laughs> I have oh, um, wow. and chapstick. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Nice. Um, how do you measure success? And I, the reason I ask is because I've had somebody ask me this question before, and it's like one of those things that is just gonna stick with me forever. I can start with me. Um, how I would measure my success is to have my career still be with my family and still do what I love to do, which is like travel and like, you know, try good foods and go to good concerts and just spend <laughs> good time and build those relationships with my family and friends. So like that's how I would measure success to, for me. I'm pretty, I would say the same for me. I feel like having a work balance is really important and being able to do all the things I do now, mm -hmm. I feel like makes me successful or a major success for me, especially like, uh, now that I'll have three days off, mm -hmm. that's like, wow. Like, now I have an extra day off. I can yeah. do more things. And, um, yeah, just being able to spend time with my family, traveling, being able to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we're moving on to the next segment. Yeah, so now being that you are closing the season, um, what is some advice that you would give to aspiring um, lash artists? 18 year old wanting to be a lash artist and she's like I want to be like Irma because I, I bet you get that a lot too like you get a lot of outreach of like yes. younger like girls I've aspiring. Had, my youngest one be, last year was 18 wow this year my youngest one is 20 but that's wow. still very young to yeah start a whole business I yeah. feel like it's pretty it's it's pretty young um the advice I would give for a lash artist is to not give up because lash lashing is really hard it's not as easy as it seems it takes a lot of practice and without practice you won't get better unfortunately mm -hmm. so making sure that you practice the most you can to be able to master every type of set that you can probably create yeah um to just take a lot of trainings too i feel like when can I go out of kind of subject? Yeah. yeah I, I yeah. feel like when I first started, I 
trainings were not the biggest thing. I feel like I'm telling you when I, yeah. when I started, I still feel like it wasn't so big. Like there was big companies doing lash trainings, but not like just like myself, like a lash yeah. artist. So I feel like lash trainings can help you so much to improve your skills and elevate your business in almost every way. Even myself, like I take trainings almost at least two to three times a year, even though I feel like a master i learned so much from other people yeah so for sure taking trainings uh don't give up keep practicing um Mm -hmm. and also don't be afraid don't don't be afraid to to show your face even though i am like saying that but this is one of the things that my first time actually being on camera too so um to show your face and um market yourself in the industry yeah yeah i think that's all nice um i did want to just talk about that a little bit um i really feel like you've that i guess that's what that's the word i was looking for earlier was it kind of like paved the way for a lot of the girls i can't even imagine how many resources the girls have now compared to when you first started so um i feel like the advice that you're giving is is great you know and that you guys should really take it (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and then I just I do want to touch on branding, of course, because you know I'm I'm very big on, um, on that. Even when you first started branding yourself, um, the aesthetic of it was very pleasing, very professional, very high, high, um, very high quality. I pay attention to detail. I pay attention to people's brands. I pay attention to people's aesthetics, the way they launch things, the way they put things out, and I would literally rate it at a very high like 10 because (laughs) even before it was like branding and content creating and it was it was like such a big deal I think I just had an eye for it and it was always like I was looking forward to see what you were gonna put out next from the carousels (laughs) to the way just the whole aesthetic with the blue butterflies the way your studio set up like you're you're killing it means a lot yes yes (laughs) so in closing we have one more thing um uh, we have a surprise for you. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, so, like you know, the name of the podcast is The Bloom Podcast. And we're very big on... Um, I'm very big on giving everybody their flowers. So, we got you a surprise to give you your um. flowers. Um, I don't know. The questionnaire, you didn't get a chance to answer it. But it was to... I, one of the questions was, like, yes, about the, the flowers. flowers. Yes. So, I didn't know Thank which one of your favorite flowers. <laughs> But um, you can't go wrong with re- white yes, roses. Yes, you can't go wrong. <laughs> but, um, but yes, that's just me, a little Thank gift from you. me. Really giving you your flowers, letting you know that you're doing amazing, congratulating you, and always cheering you on, even though I don't get my lashes done. It's okay. You know, yes. um, you always have my support. You can always reach out if you need anything um, when it comes to anything, events, content, anything. And that's just me giving you your flowers. You deserve them, and I wish you nothing but the best in your journey. Thank you so much. Yes. Same goes for you. Thank I'm really you. proud of you. And yes, you can always count on me for anything that you want to do, any events or anything like that. I'm, I'm here Thank for you. you. I know you've looked a busy girl, so <laughs> I'll take that into consideration. <laughs> but yes, and that's in closing. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you for having me. Yes. <laughs> Okay, beautiful people, we want to thank Miss Irma for coming on today and sharing her beautiful story and journey with us. So that's a wrap, and we will see you in season two. Bye.